And then the whole house fell down. It was so cool. So did you go looking for any other places? Yeah, we found a haunted tower and uh, a couple of other places, but we didn't find anything that was any good. You, you don't suppose those ghosts are going to come here, do you, Clem? Oh, the ghosts are coming. The ghosts are coming. Stop it, Jason. I don't know what's going to happen. But I tell you, I'm going to go crazy if I have to live here much longer. I hate you, bloody woman. I'm getting a bit annoyed. Oh, what now? Don't turn my TV off. I was watching that. Yes, I know. And this is why everything in this house is so sloppy, because you are watching that, instead of doing what you should be doing in the kitchen. You're getting lazier, you're getting fatter, and you're getting stupider. I do go working out. Yeah, right. Get in that kitchen and make me some food. I'm not your maid. Yes, you are. That's what you do. Is that what you think of me? Shut up and make me some grub, woman. No, I'm just going to sit here and watch the TV. That's your TV, woman. It's stupid. How dare you insult my TV? My TV's much better than your trains. How dare you say my trains are stupid? Your TV is stupid. Your trains are stupid. Your TV is stupid. Your trains are stupid. Your TV is stupid. Your trains are stupid. TV. Trains. Hey. Oh, hey, Clem. Are you two arguing again? Ah, uh, yeah. What is it this time? TV. Trains. Just lately, this has been all you've been doing, arguing all the time. We never used to be like this. Yes, we did. You know, Clem's right. We didn't used to be like this. We should try to get along as a family again. <laughs> Clement! Oh, Clement! It's time to wake up! Get up, you lazy boy! Right, that's it! Oh, good! You're awake. You better have a look at this. This came through the mail today. What? I don't believe this. Well, I'll leave you to read that. I'm going shopping. See you later. Oh, no, not again. Damn neighbours. Quiet down in there! Clem, what you doing in there? Open up already! Ah, oh, Eriki. What took you so long? I've been standing here forever! Sorry, I guess I didn't hear you over the noise the neighbours were making. What noise? Well, come into the living room, you'll hear it better. They're still doing it. Still doing what? You hear that? I don't know what they're doing in there. I think they must be doing some DIY or something. All I can hear is that damn hammering. That's not hammering, that's their music. Well, whatever it is, it's damn annoying and it's got to stop right now. Shut up! There. I think they got the message now. Oh, great. Here we go again. Is the front door stupid? Oh, yeah, so it is. Hi, Clem. We're here for the meeting. What meeting? You know... The meeting we have every Tuesday? It's Tuesday already? 
I haven't even got anything set up. You never have anything set up. Yeah, but actually, I do have something really important to show you today. Just give me a couple of minutes. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> Well guys, do you want to hear the good news first, or the bad news? Uh, good news? Well, the good news is, I think we found a place to move. And what's the bad news? The bad news is, I'm going to be moving so far away, I'm never going to be able to see any of you again. I'm sure even if you're living on the other side of the planet, we can still come and visit you. But that's just the thing, I'm not going to be on this planet anymore. What? Yeah, this paper came through the mail and, well, I just went upstairs and printed it out really big on my computer so you can all see it. So, what's it say? It says, I've been selected. What? Apparently, I'm going to be living the rest of my life in, on a new planet. Yeah, right. How are you even going to get there? On this spaceship, I think. You're kidding. No, it's not the first time we've been into space. Remember when we went to Nathan's planet? Oh man, what happened? Yes, it worked. My teleporter worked. Where are we? Hey, Clement feels good. Is that really you? And the time when Jason did a huge sneeze and it blew Jane and me to Mars? Yeah. It even came with its own DVD. What, my sneeze? No, this leaflet thing. We'll play it, Sam. Welcome to Operation Exodus. Let me be the first to say congratulations on being picked to take part in this mission to save the human race. As you probably know, the Earth is in such a bad state now that it just simply won't last much longer. So, in an effort to save the human race, we have chosen you along with a lot of other people because we know that you and your family are good people and are not like the thugs and vandals and thieves and swearers and other bad people out there. So what does this mission entail should you choose to take part? We are going to move those chosen people to another planet which is clean and habitable where you will live the rest of your lives in peace and happiness because the mistakes of the past will not be repeated. During your journey to this planet you will be living on a state-of-the-art spaceship with a living area that simulates Earth so well you may actually forget that you're living in space. In the living area of each ship you can expect to find parks, clubs, sport activity places, shops, bars, and of course, places to live. Not to mention, we have our own TV network where you can choose what you want to watch, and our own computer network where you can download and use anything you want, unlike that unreliable internet. We have just about every movie every TV show, every song from every artist, every video game, and every piece of software. Need to call someone? Each house has its own video phone. Just simply dial in the number of the ship and the house you want to call, and there you go. 
and if you still get bored during our flight, feel free to visit one of the virtual reality suites, where you can take part in your deepest fantasies. Wherever you have wanted to go, whoever you have wanted to be, and whatever you have wanted to do, our virtual reality software can read your mind and put you right there. So, what are you waiting for? Visit the spaceport now for further details. There is only a few days before we take off. You'll find the directions in the leaflet we provided. And remember, you have been selected. So, what do you think? Still sounds a bit fishy to me. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. Come on, let's go raid the fridge. Oh, hello everyone! Hi Mum, is it okay if we get ourselves some snacks? Yes, just try to leave something in there. I've only just finished shopping. Uh, Clem's Mum, why are there these boxes here? I'm having some things... um... put away. Yes, that's it, I'm having some things put away. Well guys, I think it definitely looks like I'm going to be moving. I don't see any other reason why those boxes would be there. I never thought it would come to this. I always thought the Clement series game would be forever. I can still remember the first day we met. Hi there. Can we join you? Yeah, okay. We need some friends. You know, you guys should join me and Jane. Yeah! Yep. We should give our gang a name, man. I know. What about the Clarence series gang? <sighs> yeah, those were good times. But Clement series? What was I thinking? That name doesn't even make any sense. You know, we should do some stuff together. You know, like, one last good time with you? You know, something for you to remember us by? I'm sure going to miss all this. Not me. I almost died to today. It's getting dark. Think we should go back? Yeah, come on. Well, see you guys.